What is going on, guys? It is your boy, Apti, back with a brand new but very interesting video. And today, we're going to be talking about a couple things. And the number one thing is, is the MP5 getting nerfed? But before we get into that, obviously, you can see I am rocking the MP7. Some of you guys might be like, Apti, why are you rocking the MP7? Oh, I took some shots there. And it's because I'm trying to find the next new slash best gun. Now, there's a pretty high chance the MP5 will be getting nerfed. And here's why. There's supposed to be a weapon tuning in the, in the middle of season four and the growl was already confirmed that it was getting nerfed and there's no way they aren't going to touch on some of the other overpowered guns so there's a big 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 chance that the mp5 will get nerfed with this weapon tuning it's about that time but there's a couple reasons why and here's why one cdl playlist was released mp5 was the most used gun it is the most used gun in cdl playlists it probably has racked up a ton of kills you can obviously talk about warzone in warzone it's racked up all the kills in public matches players that finally you know are with pro players now and realize you know what the mp5 is so freaking good it's actually pretty damn broken and pub kids are even using it now and i can't find these kids these little campers man so you got the casuals you got the competitive players like the cdl players using it non-stop and then last but least but not least but last it is last you have warzone now warzone uh has been sort of mp5 meta as well uh, most of the good players do run the mp5 so everyone in their mother has been using the mp5 um they do make some of these nerfs and changes most of the time other than watching pros use that gun every single day because they obviously watch the competitive side of it and see every pro player running the mp5 in the cdl league but aside from that uh they do base it off kills and like matchmaking and pubs and like who's using who's using what gun right so obviously like i said the mp7 is or the mp5 is being used a shit ton and it's definitely racking up a lot of kills and the kds with the mp5 must be pretty insane in general right like this thing must be the mp5 must have some insane numbers on the on the um, on the leaderboards on the matchmaking dude and this gun is still freaking nasty i'm one shot so i don't want to shout oh so with all this data and with them really seeing us use the mp5 every single day because it is the best gun to use um yeah there's just like i, was, I i'm telling you there is about I want to say like an 80% chance it gets nerfed. Maybe 75% chance it's going to get nerfed. I think it's a very, very high chance. If it doesn't get nerfed, I would literally be super mind blown. Like, it is going to get nerfed, man. Am I happy about this nerf? Yes. I've been wanting to use a different submachine gun. Do I love the MP5? Yes, I do. I think the MP5 is amazing. It's such a fun gun. It's a very strong gun. I've loved MP5 since COD 4. So don't get me wrong. I like it. But... You know, it's just the meta. I just hate it. It's it's boring. I love it and I hate it. I hate it because it's boring. How does he know I'm there, man? This guy's a... No, he probably just saw me up there. Wait, he heard me? Turn down your headset, brother. So it'll be interesting. Once the MP5 gets nerfed, will I be okay with that? Uh, for the most part, I will be. Um, Like I said, I do love the MP5. But I'm ready for a meta change. I'm ready for the next thing. Uh, I'm ready to have some something different and some fun so like i said there's a high 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 probability that the mp5 is going to get nerfed and it's about that time it's going to be missed but then you gotta think about the next thing what is the next big gun you got about you got to think about the next big gun and there's obviously a couple guns you can come to mind you got the mp5 or not the, the mp7 uh the vector your burger um you got the mini uzi the p90 and aug are very strong and good guns but the, and this is my this is my thing though their mobility and movement are pretty trash so therefore they're they probably won't be used man because of that reason uh but they are strong guns and i do like those guns as well so those two guns are really good you also got the um, what is the bison bison is horrible too weak so then it really leaves you with the vector mp5 or mp7 right Oh, so those are the last two guns. How did my team just get broken like that, bro? Or burgers? Are we burgering it? This is what also concerns me. The fact that the MP5 is such a good counter to M4. Before the MP5, or before like people discovered 10 mm, uh, the M4 was like considered a god gun. And once, you know, if the MP5 does get nerfed, I feel like the M4 is gonna be too OP. So then you're left with three guns, like I said. You're left with the Vector, uh, the MP5, the M4, 
Uh, those are basically the guns that most people are going to use. Holy snap, there's like seven of them here. I'm not even going to shoot yet. I think he did. And for MP7 does beam though, and it's still pretty nasty. Three piece from Apathy. Make it four, and I'm gonna get killed, but I got four. So MP7, Mini Uzi, and Vector. Now, you think about the Vector, and it's like, well, Vector, we love you, buddy. You're a beast close up, but you low key gotta go. The range is just not it. The range, it lacks too much range. It's deadly close up, but it lacks a lot of range, man. And you know, as a competitive player, you have to be able to use. It, your gun needs to be good medium range close range and long range like an mp5 all right guys so you guys saw me using the mp7 in that first map and i'm gonna run it for like a couple more lives but this so the vector is basically chalked if you think about it so then it really comes down to the mp7 or the mini uzi and i don't know why i'm going cave but there's a guy here and my teammate is just following me around so i'll take it and i'm playing this all reliable guy again aren't i and i'm dead i'm dead no i'm dead no i'm dead no i'm not dead okay um dead nope not dead get that so what makes the mp7 so good well it has really good mobility just like sort of like an mp5 it has good damage good range um like i said it's basically an overall really good gun uh good damage good range good mobility good ammo has a 40 40 round mag so overall it's just a very good gun to use man my butt cheeks falling asleep right now guys is that normal so that's why the mp7 could be the next candidate now on this class i you, you know me guys i usually show my classes at the end of the video um i don't know if you guys like that look at the range look at the range in the beam on this gun i don't know if you guys like that or if you're not a fan of it honestly i remember asking a while ago and it seemed you guys loved it that way so for my next gun i'm gonna oh shit get a little flash should we do a bunny hop here we control the hot point. me mew and for the next gun as you can see what's in my hand is the uzi now, this is a gun a lot of pro players have been using. Why have pro players been using this gun? Pro players are using this gun uh, more than the MP7 right now. Why? It has everything that the MP7 has, basically. But the time to kill is better than MP7. And that's that's really what makes it really deadly, man. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever used the Mini Uzi before, but it kills incredibly fast. Like, there's some kills you get with this gun that you think it's fake. Or that you're like, dude, it shouldn't be a thing. Like literally, it's that it can be that like that deadly. It can shred that bad. And you know, that's what makes it such a good candidate for the next gun. Do I want it to be a mini Uzi meta? Hell no. Mini mini Uzi meta sounds horrible. And I'm making people race quit. Oh, my teammate shot me. I was like, bro, I forgot it's friendly fire in this thing. Look at you reliable. Look at you camping there, brother. Can't camp the apathy. Pull out the mini Uzi. Oh my gosh, got jumped around the corner hella fast. It's gonna be another one. Oh, not today, buddy. Might try to nade me. So the mini Uzi is just another beast of a gun. I just I don't know. I'm not a fan of slow fire rate guns. Um shoots kind of weird. It's a cool looking gun though. I'll give it that. <laughs> it's a pretty cool looking gun. Um, but pro players have been using this gun a little bit in actually competitive atmosphere things and that's what for sure people are gonna be like damn this gun's actually pretty good you know and i can definitely see this being the actual next gun um i don't want it and why is this guy reliable keep shooting my body you want my attention you have it the mini uzi like i said is the next thing um if, if it was up to me man i would love to see like a p90 meta i feel like that's just never gonna happen uh, P90 meta would be freaking awesome though, no lie. All right, my teammates spawn caves. So we're gonna be to the left. Pretty easy read. Uh, one guy is cave somehow. It's all reliable, trying to kill me. Every time I th see reliable, I just think about all reliable. The old reliable. Oh, there's like this guy's new. Okay, I can't see him, and now I'm dead. Yeah. So guys, what would be your go-to gun if the meta were to change? What would be a gun you would like to see? Would it be the Mini Uzi, the MP7, the, you know, the Vector? Leave it in the comments below. I was, I'm kind of curious to see what everyone's opinion is. Um, I would love to see, honestly, the, the Vector, but... Because I love Vector. It's a fast rate, fire rate gun, you know. I hate still fire rate guns, like I said before. So, a fast fire rate gun would be awesome. Uh, this guy's shooting everyone's body, so I don't even know. Like, <laughs> he's just... 
Oh, he's shooting the Nellies too. Oh my God, what did I just witness? Hello, did anyone else see that? It's all good, man. You'll get better. Don't, don't, don't be mad at yourself. Be happy at yourself. Flipski has been accomplished. We're all on this side. Now we just got to kill this guy table because he's going to kill us all if we don't. And he is dead. So now we have table control. And I'm dead though. Great. Bro, why am I having teammates AFK, teammates quitting? Like, bro, hello? Am I being trolled right now? Bro, aren't you supposed to be kicked for inactivity? Dude, aren't you supposed to be kicked for inactivity and he's not kicked? Am I just destined to win every game? It's how I'm... Get ready. We're about to move. Like, we almost still won this 4v5. No way you stopped me with a nade. What a pussy. No, man. Oh, dude. And I still almost dropped the 50 bomb with the Uzi, bro. I only got a couple kills with the MP7 at the start. Nah, I dropped the 50 bomb. Let's go, baby. I got the 50 bomb. I'll take it. It's through chalk. We have 0 0.06 seconds of that. Shock. Lost the objective. Oh, my God, bro. Like, the real apathy. can Christian? Sorry, apathy. Like oh. These guys are AFK, bro. Like, get them out of here, man. Guys, for my first class, the MP7, to see their attachments, I was running. The no stock, I feel like, is essential in competitive atmosphere because of the big boost in movement speed it gives you. It allows you to be faster on the map and just run around area, er around the area, you know, push up quicker, challenge people faster, camera harder. No stock is just really good on subs, man. So I got the no stock commando compensator is obviously a really good combo the recon and the stippled um the one thing you could change is take off the compensator put sleight of hand and maybe change this to a uh, ranger or operator or just leave a commando uh but I really like this combo because the recoil control is insane if you wanted it to be a little bit better close up probably just put sleight of hand and then for my Vinny Uzi attachments uh these are attachments I like to run in general the one thing I think you can change if you like would be commando but these attachments just make the gun overall just consistent with close-up engagements and long-range engagements. Uh, really like these attachments. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're slowly, slowly but surely creeping up on 200K subscribers, which is freaking awesome. Never thought I'd be there. And maybe in a million years, maybe, maybe I would be there. Just, just maybe. But what do you guys think about this uh, thing? Uh, made a video basically talking about the MP5 getting nerfed and obviously the guns that I can see pro players using and extra stuff. I'm um, really excited for the future. Uh, hopefully the MP5 honestly does get nerfed and we're able to, you know, completely change the meta. It'd be awesome to watch for you guys and it'd be awesome to play, man. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.